Alternation of generations in bryophytes. In this topic, we will learn about the alternation of generations in the life cycle of bryophytes. We have seen that bryophytes like liverworts are non-vascularized plants that depend on a moist environment for survival. Here, the main plant is the haploid gametophyte. On this gametophyte, we can see the Gemma cup, which represents the asexual mode of reproduction. The other structures that are seen are the female gametophyte and the male gametophyte. The gametophyte is photosynthetic and thalloid. It has the erect phase which produces the gametes. The male gametophyte produces the sperms or anthrozoids which travel to the female gametophyte through the medium of water. A closer look at the female gametophyte shows the male sperms traveling through the channel and fusing with the female ovum. This is called fertilization which forms the diploid zygote. The zygote develops into the diploid sporophyte. This sporophyte starts to release the haploid spores formed through meiosis. These spores move around in air and under optimum moisture and temperature, they produce new gametophytic plant. Now a recap of this life cycle shows that in bryophytes like Marcantia, the dominant stage in the life cycle is the gametophyte. This forms the male and female sex organs which produce male and female gametes. These gametes unite during fertilization to form the zygote. Zygote is a sporophytic phase of the life cycle and it undergoes meiosis to form spores. The spore germinates to form the young thallus. The thallus grows into the fully grown gametophyte. This cycle is also called the alternation of generation. This is the haplodiplontic life cycle which has a dominant haploid phase and a short diploid phase.